This is the cheapest double stack 1911 currently on the market. It's from TSOS, a Turkish manufacturer, and you could literally get three of these for the price of one staccato. And that has the potential to be a real market disruptor. Now, I'm generally speaking not a big fan of sequels. It just always seems difficult to live up to the hype of the first installment. But last year, you guys rallied behind this. I called her Ashley. You're a couple of old fashions deep and you pick up your phone looking to have a fun night with a perfect 10. A message is sent for a booty call from your local Chili's hostess, probably named Ashley. Much like your drunken soiree where you will eventually wake up next to Ashley and have to figure out what to do next. One day, I had a $580 1911 show up to which I had to figure out, what do I do? Much in the same way that you desire a hookup with a perfect 10, but you have to settle for local Chili's waitress, Ashley, the three. A lot of times you want that fancy 1911, but you gotta settle for what you can get. But I fell a little bit in love with Ashley last year. So with that said, meet Ashley's sister, Mandy. Ah, Ashley, the Chili's waitress, the three that wound up becoming your wife. But if there were any problem with Ashley, it would be her diet. Southwestern egg rolls for lunch, ultimate Cajun pasta for dinner. Sadly, it led to a lack of a thick lower half. Meanwhile, across town, Ashley's sister Mandy was hard at work at the Texas Roadhouse. In between iced tea refills, she listened to Joe Rogan. Easily influenced, she adopted the carnivore diet. At any given moment of the day, you might find Mandy doing squats and munching on a piece of ribeye. Was she the hottest? No but her steady intake of leg day and animal flesh produced an ass that could trump any shortcomings she had upstairs. Now, I love the 1911, but if we're being honest, capacity is what the market demands in 2024. We, much like Mandy's OnlyFans subscribers, demand a thick bottom half. So, what if? What if the TSOS 2011 could deliver on the promise? The promise of a functioning 2011 for 800 bones not to be confused with the ribeye bones commonly found in Mandy's employee locker. Love. Love is the most powerful word in the English language. Now, I have a deep fondness for Ashley with her thin frame, but then came along Mandy with her thick, juicy lower half. So the question is, did Mandy just manage to steal yo man? Guys, you apparently like watches. So let me take a brief moment to talk to you about them. I can tell you what this is not. This is not a Rolex. It's not an AP, it's not a Patek, it's none of those things. But the good news for those of you looking for things like that, check out our friends over at Wolven. Uh, they're a shop down in DFW. They deal in a lot of the very, very hard to find things and some things that you guys have seen on the channel before, Panerais and uh, Omegas, IWC, stuff like that. So they carry a lot of different things, um, family owned business, some dudes who uh, also are friendly to the uh, cause here of the stuff that we talk about on the show. So check them out, they got a website, everything comes with a two year warranty, they'll ship everywhere across the country. Um, you can also hit them up if you wanna like trade something in and get something new. Check it out, they've actually got a pretty neat blog that they do on their, or vlog that they do on their YouTube channel, it's the Wolven page. So we'll uh, throw a link down below, check that out. 
and deck out your, I don't know, I'm trying to come up with some tagline, I don't know, deck out your wrist, I don't know, just back to the tea sauce video. So if we look at what Mandy represents in the marketplace, I believe it's a little bit more significant than you might make it out to be. You see, 2011s, I've often said, are the supercar of the gun world, especially the pistol world at the very least. Simply put, it's an expensive game. And I often find myself I'm talking to a manufacturer and I'm like, I can't believe that I just said that $2,500 gun is, is budget friendly. Like that's a very, very expensive gun, right? The landscape has been changing a little bit. See, for years, um, STI, now called Staccato, was really the place, in many ways, the only place to begin your 2011 journey. And then you could sort of upgrade and to get into higher tier stuff from there. But in recent history, a lot more manufacturers have realized that the demand and the interest for double stack 1911s is there. And that's done two things. One, it continues to fuel the high end market, right? There's more and more expensive guns coming in, but it also is fueling and pushing down the floor of how little you can spend and get into the 2011 world. So let's take a look. We still have Staccato there and Staccato's come in around 2,500 bucks for like your baseline models. And again, that was always like the floor. That was where you started, right? But then Bull Armory came into the picture. The only thing, caveat with Bull now is that their guns are pushing about two grand to 2,500. So they've started to creep up in price where I'm not sure they make as much sense anymore. Then the Springfield Prodigy comes along and that was like, I mean, you guys remember that? The, Prod the Prodigy comes out and everyone's like, oh my God, we've got the Prodigy. It's priced at 1700 bucks and it's just going to change the market and it made a splash you know but it had mixed reviews you know it's just been a little dicey in terms of what people have thought about the prodigy then there's the gearson witness 2311 now we really start dropping to that budget you know tier gearson witness 2311 thousand bucks we got the live free armory apollo 11 at 979 Jury's still out on that. Shot it at SHOT Show? Eh, I don't know. Um, then we've got the Rock Island TAC Ultra at 900. And then comes the T-Sauce, ranging from 800 to 960 bucks. And that is just staggering that you can pick up a 2011 for sub a thousand bucks. And at that price point, quite literally, all I need the T-Sauce to do is work. So, does it work? And there's only one way to find out. That is real deal, raw, unedited footage, and we're gonna see. So we'll test some reliability. Not that four mags is gonna teach you everything in the world, but we'll see if it has the one chink in its reliability flaw. No, it does not. Occasionally, you'll, you'll catch a slight hang up on that first round chamber and you just have to give a little, little bump. So we'll just shoot some A-zone paper and see if the gun just completely explodes or melts down because it's under a thousand dollars. So that's what it should do, right? Another observation I've had is whoever said that shooting red dots makes you a way better iron shooter. Completely disagree. I'm shooting decent on paper right now, but Generally speaking, I mean, they're T-Sauce mags, right? <laughs> Gives a shit. Um, I do not find that to be accurate. I shoot irons like absolute shit now because I've gotten competent. Clean, no hiccups. Gotten competent at running dots. But the trigger, so we're shooting the Night Stalker right now. There's a couple different models that we've got. Ooh, a little, little pinch. That was on my bad right there. Um, the trigger on the Night Stalker. I will tell you the Night Stalker model, the one that I'm shooting now, seems to be, for whatever re reason, marginally more refined than the Duty Double Stack, which I'll grab here in just a second. The trigger seems to be slightly better if I was gonna pick a winner there. Um, it just seems to be a touch more clean. Like, sure, you'll hear some rattle in this bad boy, but. What do you really expect? Let's grab the duty double stack. Well, that makes sense. As we shoot more, the cows decide to move down the hill. Come on, man. You and your woman. You guys gotta go, man. Go on, get! But here's the deal. If you're like, Jake, I really do want that 2011, but you know, 960 bones on the uh, Night Stalker is a little much. 
Well, this bad boy is at like 800, I think. Um, I, I mean, you know, what criticisms could you really find? So about the only one, or, you know, I'm sure we'll nitpick little things. The grip's slightly chunky, right? So when you grab it, it's like, yeah, it's kind of a fat grip. Does it really matter? Not really. Like if the gun runs through the shit out of that round, if the gun runs, and for people like myself who are lefties and or just, I don't know why a righty would need this, they have a nice heavy mag release spring um, inside of the mag release, okay, mag release spring, right? Double statement there, um, which I like because for a lefties that grip the shit out of the gun, there's really no uh, risk in you dropping mags. So, I mean, what do you really want to say? Like, look, the gun works, the trigger's good. Like, I don't know what to tell you, everyone. So about the only thing that some of you might get on your high horse about and be like, oh, the T-Sauce, is the fact that it's foreign made, right? Because it is a pistol made in Turkey. And I get it a little bit, right? This is America's pistol and it's coming from Turkey. But I do think that that's a little bit of a short-sighted approach. So what I would like to do in this brief section here is just tell you some of the great things that come out of Turkey, right? See if we can win you over to the team here. So Turkey is the top producer in the world, right, for apricots, hazelnuts, and oregano. And if you don't like pasta, the door's that way. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out, you know, is what I'm saying about this channel. If you don't like oregano, who are you, right? It's also the land of a lot of wonderful procedures, okay? Here are a few. Augmentation mammoplasty, that would be the technical term for breast implants. Uh, liposuction, we've got rhinoplasty, that's where they take the old honker there. Lop off the end of it, make it look good. Tummy tuck, facelift, autoplasty, that's the reshaping of messed up ears, and I'm gonna be willing to bet most of you didn't know that that was a thing either. Eyebrow lift, right? I mean, uh, blepharoplasty, any guesses? Eyelid lift, because who likes a shitty eyelid? Not me. Mommy makeover, and as someone who dates in that pool of single moms, thank you for the Turkish, for the mommy makeovers, right? A brachioplasty, any guesses? Arm lift, because no one likes arm flab. A vaginoplasty, you probably figured that one out on your own. A thigh lift, a neck lift, body contouring labiaplasty. Disclaimer, don't look up the before photos of that one. Um, breast reduction, said no one ever. And of course, the ever famous BBL, God's gift to mankind, right? So before we start getting on our high horse about the guns from Turkey, let's keep in mind the facts as stated. Guys, we'll be back with the T-Sauce momentarily, but let me tell you about a couple quick things. One, oh my God, what's he doing? Why is he playing at his waist? Is he gonna flash it? No, I'm not gonna flash you guys. I'm civilized, right? I mean, come on, we're not that rude around here. This is this is the uh, Segera Light Inner Velcro Belt. I absolutely love this thing. Like, uh, you know, I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, you guys have heard it on the channel for a long time now. I appreciate you guys that do throw Segera some support and uh, use our code, it's 1911syndicate, it saves you 10% off the belts. They've got a bunch of other stuff. In our uh, gear guide that we covered like truck gear, outdoor gear, EDC, all that. We covered a bunch of their different stuff with the headrest panel, that's really cool. Been using that it's on my headrest right now. Um, their freaking mag pouches, I don't have one of those on me, but those things are really cool. They got a little mag sleeve that can go on this. They got the battle wagon, really some cool stuff. I talk about this a lot because I really do wear this damn thing every day, but they got a lot of different stuff. You can check it out on the Segura website. And then the last thing is just, um, hey, the 1911 Syndicate, we're small. Um, I'm gonna say family run business. Now, I'm technically the only one that owns it, but I'm like a family of one. So you can support this family owned business. Go to 1911syndicate.com. If you guys need real estate help, let us know. Um, we'd love to be able to help you guys out. If you're confused, don't worry, just go to the website. Last thing, Patreon. Um, cat's out of the bag now, but the class is full. But hey, we're doing a private MP5 operators course later this year just for Patreon. Um, class is full, filled up in less than an hour, but if you wanna come do cool stuff like that with gray room tours and all kinds of wild shit you don't really get anywhere else, Patreon's where you wanna go sign up. So check that out. Sorry for the long pitch. Back on with the Double Stack 1911. Okay, so let's talk models and some features. Two different guns here. This is the Duty Double Stack. This is the Night Stalker. The Duty Double Stack is coming in at a shocking 800 bones. The Night Stalker, Coming in 
at, in many ways, an even more shocking 960 bones. Here's the deal, both guns made from forged components, AKA frame slide barrel, all from 4140 steel. So point being, you've got good raw materials. That way, if you wanted to take these, do some mods or something to it, at least you're operating from a pretty good base starting point. Fit and finish, how is it? Well, it's important to always always judge a thing for what it is, not for what it isn't. This is not a hand-fit gun, and TSOS, I believe, would tell you that themselves. This is purely a production gun. It is machined, and then it is put together, and we're gonna see what we got. So is there some play in it? Sure. You guys can, you know, hear all this. It's not the tightest gun in the world. Do I expect it to be? Not whatsoever. Um, as long as literally, if I do this, this slide doesn't just fly off of the frame because it's so loose, that's pretty much perfectly fine with me. But there is some degree of fit and finish here. I gotta tell you guys, like if we look at the a grip safety is always kind of like a nice gauge if a gun's had any attention to detail on it, right? Because you can just kind of depress it and go, okay, is this at all like blended back here or they're just hard edges and things like that? And I'll tell you this, not to throw shade, but I guess by default kind of is, um, this grip safety is notably better than the $7,000 Pit Viper that I had in, and that's just not even debatable. This one doesn't want to cut my hand off when I grip it. That's a nice feature. Uh, the TSOS guns come with a bushing barrel. I won't point this at the camera there for obvious reasons, because there's a human being behind it, um, but he's moved. So now I will, don't every, everyone relax at home, right? This is how I would, if I ever rob a bank, I'm gonna do it like this. I want all your money. Bushing barrel, not a bull barrel. Do I really care about that? Not really, man. The, like it just doesn't matter that to, much, much to me, a bull barrel will add a little bit of weight. Uh, takedown can be simplified sometimes, but I don't know. I, like, I just don't really care. It's like, I'm cool with whatever barrel system you want to use there. Red dot cut. So they come red dot cut. And I mean, that's just really amazing for this price point. Uh, the red dot cut in question is a uh, 507K, aka Hollow Sun 507K, an RMSC. So you will have some, uh, you know, moderate limitation. There's plenty of dots you can put on this. I'm just saying it's not an RMR footprint where you can go like, the most mainstream route with RMRs and Hollow Suns 507, not the K model, things like that. Gun comes with an ambidextrous safety for people like me. That is really nice. And it's actually pretty nice, tight safety. It's not just gonna kind of nudge up uh, under recoil or anything like that. Gun comes with two mags. Then we've got the Night Stalker model. That adds in a handful of different things. So one, mag well which you can take off, right? But it comes with a magwell, which does speed up the reloads quite a bit. Um, you've got upgraded sights. So you got tritium up front. You got a blacked out serrated rear sight right here. Uh, you've got a threaded barrel, obviously different color. I think it's pretty cool looking, right? You got the little slide serrations there. What I feel is a little bit of a better trigger and that could just be my brain playing tricks on me because I know that it's a slightly more expensive gun. But for me, this feels just a tad bit more refined. So the fact that, hey, you go from 800 to 960 and you add in all of those extra things kind of makes this, this thing a no brainer, if you know what I mean. So let's talk some final thoughts here. There's a couple of routes you can go with the T-Sauce. You could use it as a base gun to make some upgrades to. AKA, you could take a $800 gun that's pretty good and you could make it a really good $1,500 gun. You know, clean up a couple of things, whatever that might be, whatever is important to you and go, man, I'm 1,500 bucks into this thing and it's like, I got a like legit shooter right now. So you could go that. The second route you could do is, and I said this in our original TSUS video, is don't do a damn thing to it. And there's two different categories that I would put people into in the regards to don't do a damn thing to it. One, use it as your beater. Like if you're an existing 2011 guy and you're like, hey man, I've got my staccatos or my uh, alchemies or infinities or, or whatever the thing is, you're like, cool, use this as your beater. You go into a class and the weather's kind of shitty. Okay, cool, grab your T-Sauce, man. It's probably gonna run great. And it's like, who really cares what happens to it? Or the other category is, hey, I'm just getting in 2011s. I don't really know if I wanna go full send on this, or maybe I know I wanna go full send, but I don't have the budget for it. Okay, cool, great, man. Like here's the ultimate starting place for 2011s. And it seems fairly not debatable. So to have a 2011, think about this, under a thousand bucks with a threaded barrel, good iron sights, optic cut, ambi safety, railed, got your little fancy lightning cuts, all this kind of stuff. To have that feature set at sub a thousand bucks, 
is absolutely insane. And it leaves me with this feeling of thrilled, but feeling a little bit dirty about it. Like, like my infinity, take my infinity for example. Like, I don't want my infinity to know that I kind of have a thing for this tea sauce. Like, tea sauce is good, but like, I would say it quietly in the house. Cause like, I don't want my infinity to hear that. I mean, that would be like, you know, who, whatever. You're some like stud and like your, your, your chick's at home. Like she's like total 10, but like, you've really developed a thing with this side chick and she's, she's a three and it's like, it's thrilling. She makes you, she makes you feel good about yourself. Right. And she doesn't demand much. She's happy to go out the chilies or the roadhouse or whatever, but it's like, man, I got this flawless girl at home, but I got a thing for this three. You don't want your 10 to hear that. You don't want anyone to hear that. You kind of keep it a secret. That's kind of where I'm at with this tea sauce. Like I got a thing for it, but I don't want my other guns. I mean, we're way far away from the truck right now. A lot of nice guns back there. I don't want those guns to hear me talk about the tea sauce like this. So ultimately at the end of the day, final ranking, where would we rate the tea sauce? So I'm going to give you an A minus. I'm going to give you an A minus. Uh, that's only, I almost feel guilty for not giving it a flat line A. I'm going to give you an A minus purely for like, I've had a couple of moments where it's like, it hasn't fed that first round coming out of the mag on slide lock, but it's like, look man, A minus. I don't, I, it's really hard for me to imagine there's going to be another contender that comes in sub thousand bucks that becomes like the definitive choice for the 2011 you pick up if you want something sub thousand bucks. So I don't know, man, it's a winner. It's thrilling. I feel dirty about it and I don't know, I'm going home now.